guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video you guys I wanted to finally uh, sit down and give you guys a price breakdown of the recent stair renovations that I just completed you guys I am so happy with the way they came out if you have not seen those two videos on my channel make sure you go and look at them the first video is me removing the carpet from the stairs and replacing them with hardwood stair treads. And in the second video, I installed some beautiful handrails and then bat stair balusters, you guys. Make sure you go and check out those videos. And on the course of me renovating my stairs, you guys, I had so many people that were asking me how much was it costing me, how much was the pricing of some of the material that I decided to use and so I wanted to sit down you guys and get this video out to you so if you are thinking about doing this renovation on your own if it's something you want to DIY or if it is something you probably hire out for a contractor so to give you a little bit of a backstory uh, again you guys know that my home is a builder grade home and uh, we had our home built and so if you ever had your home built or if you know again anything about the building process uh, then you pay for upgrades and what my builders neglected to tell me the day that I was in the design center picking out all of my finishes they neglected to tell me that having a uh, railing on my stairs was something that I was going to have to pay for as an upgrade. Um, I knew that the stairs would be carpeted. That was something I had settled in my head. Uh, but in all of the floor models we had seen uh, of this particular build, all of the staircases had beautiful rod handrails uh, and stair balusters and it wasn't until the day we or maybe not the day but it wasn't until the week that we closed and i realized we did not have those rails so immediately off the bat i knew that i wanted to hire a contractor or this was something that i wanted to have remodeled in my home so i called some contractors got some pricing the first quote that i got was just to remove the wall if you guys remember I had this half wall at the end of my staircase which was an eyesore for me the moment I moved in and so I knew I wanted those gone uh, or I wanted that wall gone uh, and so the quote to remove that and to do a, a rail with balusters that quote alone you guys I got a quote of 1500 the first I should say the first quote that I got from one contractor was 1300 and then the second quote I got was 1500 and so I knew that that was probably not gonna be the best route for me um, and again that was just to remove the wall to demo the wall and to give me a handrail there uh, the second quote I got was to see how much it would be to have the carpet removed from the stairs and to do hardwood flooring that quote you guys is what really took me over the edge I was quoted three thousand and eighty dollars for that project alone and I want to specify he did tell me that uh, to remove the carpet and to do the hardwood floors it was just that so there was no hand railing there was no post there was it, that was it that was literally just to remove the carpet so the quote in total for both contractors to have had my stairs completely renovated would have came to roughly four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars so after getting that quote I knew that I wanted to start so again you guys let me give you the price breakdown of the just material uh, and then I'll do my best to link everything in the description box below so that if you're interested in any of these products you can easily just click click the link uh, in the description so to start with the stair treads you guys I purchased my stair treads from uh, Lowe's and uh, I purchased I purchased 20 of them so I have 16 steps on 
front of my staircase and then if you remember or if you saw the video the first video of me renovating it then I used four of those same stair treads in the landing area of my staircase and those stair treads were ten dollars and sixty four cents a piece uh, at my local Lowe's uh, so for me to use 20 of them in total that came to two hundred twelve dollars and eighty cents and you guys I'm giving these prices I'm not including sales taxes because I know it's different in every state uh, so this was just the price of the material alone no taxes or anything like that uh, the risers I also purchased from Lowe's. I also used uh, 16 of them on each step and they were $10.48. So that came to a total of $167.68 uh, for the risers. The stair post that I decided to use, I got from Home Depot. It came to $99, you guys, and the installation of it was so easy. Um, so for my post, I also needed, I did want to include that. I did use the Newell Post Kit to install it, you guys, which also made this installation really, really easy. And the kit itself was only $5.18. I got the kit from Lowe's. Now the balusters that I used or that I wanted to use for uh, this renovation were the straight iron, black iron balusters. You guys, I, I feel like they look so modern, so sleek, and so clean. I love clean lines. So I wanted something super straight and super modern. And I got these iron balusters from Home Depot, you guys. They were only $5, uh, $5.51 to be exact. And I used five of them. Uh, so that came to a total of $27.55 for those balusters, you guys. Um, when installing the balusters, I did use baluster shoes which I also needed five of those and those were two dollars and 27 cents each uh, and for five of them that totaled eleven dollars and 35 cents and um, the last but not least items that I purchased I also purchased a handrail which was 12 feet long um, that came to that was $59.76. I purchased that from Lowe's. And then I also purchased a rail brackets. The rail brackets were the uh, black brackets that connected the handrail to the wall. I purchased two of those and that was $13.24, you guys. So to give you a grand scheme, that was everything that I purchased and you you guys uh, the only thing that I am leaving out is of course tools I'm not including the price of tools because I had tools already um, and then I didn't include the price of what it costs to stain my stair treads and the handrail because the stain that I use is a uh, aged barrel I use it uh, on everything in my home all of the projects I've used so far uh, is man wax aged barrels uh, stain and so I already had that on deck um, so the price of the material it came to five hundred ninety six dollars and fifty six cents you guys <laughs> again I cannot tell you how excited I was to know that I the percentage that I saved in comparison to the quotes that I received from contractors now and I, I want to make sure that I do say that the pricing that most contractors use it does depend on the material that they use uh, but also you guys you do pay a, a pretty hefty portion in labor for their services because it really is hard work you guys I really 
hope this price breakdown was helpful and useful for you uh, if you're deciding to do this DIY in the future or if you're thinking to go with the contractor. I hope all of these tips and tricks that I showed you along the way is very useful. You guys, I want to thank you for tuning into this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Give this video a thumbs up 